Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ron and behind me is my 2018 Subaru WRX. So before we get started on today's install, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to the returning subscribers. Thank you guys for commenting and liking the videos. It really helps me out a whole bunch. And um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. My goal has always been to hit a thousand subscribers ever since I started posting consistently on YouTube. And to think that a thousand subscribers is just around the corner is really cool. There's a lot more plans with the car and I'm hoping to take you guys along with me on that journey so with that being said let's go ahead and get started on this install so what I have in this package are some kick guards uh, these are from OLM and I got it from Rally Sport Direct. They had the carbon fiber one, as well as the leather look, and I decided to go with the leather look. If you're unaware, what these are, are just covers for this part of the car. Uh, hence the name kick guard, because a lot of people usually kick to open the door. I personally don't, but it's nice to have protection anyway. So if you're interested in this product, I'm gonna go ahead and link it below. Again, I got it from Rally Sport Direct, and that's what they look like. You get all four corners, and today we're gonna to be installing it, so let's go ahead and get started. So I haven't really seen any install videos on this product yet. I plan to follow the instructions step by step, and I just did a quick unboxing. It looks like it comes with some cleaner, as well as some adhesive promoter, and some masking tape, along with the actual door cards. Oh yeah, I like that look, that's nice. All right, so hopefully you guys can see this. Damn, that's bright. I'm on the driver's side door. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the included package, and it comes with some gloves, some sort of cleaner and the primer. I think this is actually the adhesive promoter. But yeah, the first thing that we want to do is to open up the 3M number 300 EAC cleaner. We're gonna clean off the sides of the doors. I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm actually ripping this off. So I think it's just a fancy name for alcohol pads, but it should clean off the surface for the adhesive to stick onto it. And they only give you one piece, so make sure you have enough for all four doors. And I'm gonna go ahead, before this dries up, uh, get the rest of the doors. All right, so after cleaning off the dirt and the oils with the alcohol pad, the next thing that we want to do is to go ahead and remove the backing, just the white part. There's also this strip of 3M on the edges, but we're not gonna remove that at this point. We're just gonna be removing the middle part of it. And check your fitment once more before you remove the backing. And what I'm gonna do is line it up as best as I can and just go from there. So I'm just gonna start off by peeling the part that goes over the speaker and then I'm gonna line it up and then peel the rest off. All right, so I'm gonna do my best to kind of explain exactly how I stuck this on here. So what I did was I started off with the speaker side and I slowly made my way around the top and then to the bottom part of it. And a couple things to note, so this car is not equipped with the Harman Kardon speakers, so yours might look a little differently than mine, but what I did was, I'll show you guys the fitment. So it's literally right on the edge, right this part and then the bottom part. I got it as close to the edge as possible. And then along the top right here, as well as in here where the cup holders are. So a couple very important things to note. You wanna make sure that you get this indent right here. You wanna make sure that there's no air pockets in there. And so you just 
kind of get your finger and run it across there and around the speaker. And then feel free to kind of stretch out the material so you get enough of it going this way. And the other part to emphasize is this indentation right here. You wanna make sure that you stick it on there firmly and then level out the top. So you don't wanna go full flat, both top and bottom pieces, and then push in here just because it'll, over time it'll pull itself out. So you wanna either start from the top or from the bottom and then work your way up or down depending on where you start. So now that we got this in place and it's in a good position, next thing we wanna do is to grab the included masking tape and then apply some tape around the mounting position. And my best guess is we're putting tape around this uh, to protect the material from the 3M primer. I'm not too sure, but that's just my best guess. So let's go ahead and get this lined up. And I'm just gonna simply line it up as close as I can to the edge of the protector. So not to get confused, all we did was get the provided masking tape and created an outline around the kick guard. The next step would be to get the 3M K500 primer that's included in the kit and peel back the kick guard and then apply it onto the surface right there. This is gonna help the outer edge stick on the surface right here. And again, I think the purpose of the masking tape is to protect the rest of the material right here because I don't think you want to get this on there. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to peel it back and apply it to the edge as best as I can. So after you get that applied onto the door card, put it back in its container and then we'll move on with the next step. So next we want to go ahead and remove the stencil that we made from the masking tape. And now we can finally peel the backing of the kick guard. Simply make your way around the edges. All right, so we just finished with the driver's side install and I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. I purposely got the leather one or the leather look so that it doesn't look too far out of place. I mean, with the carbon fiber one, that one was cool too, but it's just not gonna match the rest of the leather interior. So at first it was confusing because I didn't know what the masking tape was for. Then I quickly realized that it was to protect the outer parts of it where you don't want the adhesive promoter to be stuck on. So far so good, it took a little longer than expected just because it was the first side, but now I kind of have a general idea of what to do and how to place this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the rear driver door. So start off by peeling off the backing of the kick guard protector. And again, I know I'm repeating myself, but only peel off the middle part, leave the edges until the very last step. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and use the adhesive promoter around the edges. And then after the adhesive promoter, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the stencil And finally, we can go ahead and peel the backing off of the edges. Just like the driver's side, you wanna watch out for this crease right here, as well as around the speaker. And other than that, you just kinda of have to move it as necessary 
for you to get the final fitment that you're comfortable with. So I finished the driver's side. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the passenger side, but I'm just gonna breeze through this. I don't wanna feel like I'm repeating myself. So after I finish, I'm gonna go ahead and provide you guys with my final thoughts. All right guys, so I just finished installing all four doors. I really like the way these look. Just look at the way the light shines on it. I'm telling you, it looks like it belongs on the car and it doesn't look tacky. And I think it's pretty cool how it matches this part of it as well as the seats. So there we have it. So the next time your passenger gets out and decides to kick, they can go ahead and kick this part. <laughs> All right guys, that about completes the install for the OLM kick guard protection kit. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this install. I like installing things that I've never seen before and I'm always down to try new things for the car. If you made it this far throughout the video, thank you so much for watching and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.